So now let's get into the nitty gritty of like the actual press release writing, because I think a lot of people think there's this like really formal official way of doing it and it has to look a certain way. Do you agree with that? I do not. And I, I, I'm coming to you as someone who over 10 years ago wrote the B Beginner's Guide to Writing Powerful Press Releases. I really felt that having the, the best well-written press release was the answer to getting media pickup. And I learned over time that it matters not too much. Uh, the, 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 the Newswire used to be stringent at AP style. And now if you sent a press release that was all cap headline, there's a chance they would run it like that because they're not really adhering to those standards anymore. I think that we've become more relaxed in language and expectations. Uh, Microsoft Word does a really good job of checking grammar and, and punctuation for a lot of people. And I think that rather than being tripped up on the perfect type of press release, I think what you should really do is just sort of build uh, your argument, what it is you're announcing and why you matter. And, you know, sort of try to reverse engineer uh, from what a journalist would be looking for. How are you compelling? How are you answering uh, that person's questions and giving them something that they, they, they just want to share with their audience? And I think that um, that approach will yield a, a better press release uh, than, you know, taking a template or looking at some a competitor's press release. So many press releases are just written by press releases that they see that are already out there and say, oh, let me just, you know, make this mine uh, by, by changing the industry or, you know, making a couple of tweaks here. And what they really should be doing is rather than deciding that's the press release you want to do, what is something more strategic that you could be doing? Yeah, you know, like the survey that we talked about, or yeah. you know, any anything along those lines. Uh, yeah, you know, newsjacking is one of those things that people always talk about, but I find it fail miserably so many times. That's where you just jump on a trending uh, news story and enter your opinion and uh, on that. And I've, I've had success with people who do news jacking when they elevate the conversation or make it very specific to a, a specific um, subgroup. And so that if you can elevate a conversation by drawing more nuance within it or focusing on one's uh, very narrow audience that's affected by that news, you're, you're going to open yourself up to media that want to to basically enlarge the conversation. Uh, and sometimes that's by making it smaller and, and more niche oriented.